Hello everybody, this is Ms. Hotshot. I just wanted to share with you a poem that I wrote that came to me while I was at work. I've never done this before, you know, and for people to read or listen to, but hey, we're gonna give it a shot. So, here we go. The poem is titled Yellow Ribbons for Christmas. It's that beautiful time of year for everyone. All excited to see Christmas lights and family and friends. Children with their eyes wide, gazing at all the decorations on all the trees. Red and green colors, teddy bears, gold and silver beads, and Santa Clauses all over the Christmas trees. But there's one man who works hard. And when he got home alone, he looks upon his tree wishing she was home for Christmas. She is away on duty and he misses her so much. The tree in his front window is beautiful with an angel on top and the Christmas tree covered with yellow ribbons just for her, waiting for her to come home for Christmas. Across town, there is a lady at home she is sitting at home holding her baby, wondering when will he come home? He is in another country fighting to keep peace and our country safe. She looks down on their new little girl wishing he would be home Christmas day to hold her for the very first time. And sitting on a small table in front of their window is a small Christmas tree with a baby first Christmas ornament, colored lights, and eight very tiny reindeer. But she glances up, her eyes latch upon the large yellow ribbon for her daddy. It's Christmas Eve, and the nurse has to make a call she didn't want to have to make. A 45-year veteran, surrounded by family and friends, knew it was getting to be his time. He said to his son, I live to see one more Christmas. Don't cry for me. I'm going home to see your mama. He was tired. He closed his eyes suddenly. The room grew bright. The clock struck midnight. It was Christmas Day. He opened his eyes one last time. And with a big smile on his face, he said, Can you see them? Aren't they beautiful? Can't you see the Christmas angels? The family could not see them, but they believed him. His son held his hand, and for the last time, the veteran closed his eyes and followed the six angels holding yellow ribbons for Christmas.